Hello everyone. This filter is the secret to great and easy DIY dust collection. Let me tell you why. So there's two really great things about this filter. The first is the MERV rating. It's a MERV 14. Okay, you don't wanna get anything less than MERV 14 because um, it won't capture that really fine dust, the 0.3 to 1 microns that floats around in the air and uh, can go straight into your bloodstream. Because if you do, um, it's gonna go straight through your filter and your fan's just gonna keep spreading it around your shop and you don't wanna breathe that in. But what makes this filter really special is its thickness, it's five inches thick. Okay, so a lot of people will take a one inch filter and put it on the back of their fan, but this is a mistake because a one inch filter doesn't have the same surface area. It bogs down the motor of your fan, making it much less efficient. Think of it like trying to breathe through a thin straw versus a thick straw. So, so a lot of people, what they'll do is they'll take five one inch fans and they'll build a little box around the fan and it's called a Corsair Rosenthal box and this increases the surface area and it works but the thing is, is that that's uh it takes a lot of time and effort to make those boxes and money um and that's really where the beauty of this box comes into play of uh, this filter rather is that it has the same airflow as the Corsair Rosenthal box does because it's five inches thick um but you you don't need to, to build one you just tape it to the back of your fan and you're done and what makes it even better than one of those boxes is that if you wanted to uh, prolong the life of this filter, you could take a MERV 2 or MERV 3 um, filter and tape it to the back of this one to catch, capture all the, the bigger dust. And that way you essentially have a two-stage dust collector. So yeah, so if you want one of these, I'll put a link in the description. And I think this is the best way to do it. I think a lot of people don't do it this way because the price, and it's true that this five inch filters um, more expensive than a one inch filter, but when you add up the, the cost of five one inch filter, this is a uh, better value. So if you wanna pick up these, one of these for yourself, I'll put a link in the description below. And if you like this video, found it helpful, please like it and subscribe. And thank you so much for watching. Say bye, James.